good morning children today we are going to start with chapter 0 revision in this chapter we will revise whatever you have studied in the previous class so let us begin with the first question write the number name of the given numeral so the numerals are given to us we have to write the number name of these numerals so let us first see the places of each digit in the first numeral here's 2 is at ones place 3 is at tens place 7 at hundreds place 5 is at thousand place 2 is at 10000 place and 4 is at lakhs place so to write the number name of this numeral we will first start with lakhs place so at lakhs place we have 4 which means 4 lakhs then in thousand period we have 25 Two at ten thousand place and five at thousand place. So it will be twenty-five thousand. Then we have seven three two in one period. That is seven at hundreds place, three at tens place, and two at ones place, which means seven hundred. Then three tens means thirty and two. So the number name is four lakh twenty five thousand seven hundred thirty two. Now in the next numeral we have one at ones place, zero at tens place, zero at hundred place. Two at thousand place, eight at ten thousand place, and seven at lakhs place. So again, let's start with the first digit here, seven. So it will be seven lakh. Then we have eighty-two in thousand period. So eighty. Two thousand. Then at hundreds place we have zero, at tens place zero, and one at ones place. So which means we will write one only. So number name is seven lakh eighty two thousand one. The next numeral we have. Two at ones place, three at tens place, four at hundreds place, five at thousand place, one at ten thousand place, and seven at lakhs place. So it will be seven lakh. Then we have. Fifteen in thousand period, so fifteen thousand. Then we have four three two in one period, so where four is at hundred place, so four hundred three tens means thirty. And at ones place we have two. Now in the last numeral we have two at ones place, four at tens, then seven hundreds, five thousand, two, ten thousand, and three lakhs. So it will be three lakh. Then twenty five. Thousand. Then this will be seven hundred 
forty two. So the number name is three lakh twenty five thousand seven hundred forty two. In the next question, we have to write the given number name into numeral. So first number name given to us is six lakh fifty one thousand. Two hundred twenty. So, as you can see, at lakhs place we have six. So, write six at lakhs place. Then, thousand we have fifty one. Fifty one thousand means fifty is at ten thousand place. One at thousand place. So, write five at ten thousand place and one at thousand place. It is fifty one thousand. Then we have two hundred twenty. Twenty means two tens. So write two here, and at ones place we have zero. So the numeral is six five one two two zero. Next question is ten lakh three thousand six hundred thirty nine. So you can see in lakhs period we have ten. Ten lakh means one at ten lakh place and zero at lakhs place. Then three thousand. So here we have three thousand means at ten thousand place we have to write zero. There is no digit at ten thousand place. Then write three at thousand place. Then six hundred. So six will come at hundreds place. Then thirty nine. So thirty means three tens, and nine will come at ones place. So the numeral is one zero zero three six three nine. Next question is eighteen lakh sixty thousand nineteen. So at In lakhs period we have eighteen, so eighteen means one ten lakh and eight lakh. So one will come at ten lakh place and eight will come at lakhs place. Then sixty thousand, so six ten thousand and zero thousand nineteen means there is no digit at hundreds place. So write zero at hundreds place. Nineteen means one. Tens and nine ones. So the numeral is one eight six zero zero one nine. In the next question, we have to write the num number name using international place value system. So now we know the places in international place value system are here, as you can see in this numeral. Zero. Uh, we have one at ones place, zero at tens place, zero at hundreds place, then two at thousand place, four at ten thousand place, and after ten thousand we have seven that is at hundred thousand place. In international place value chart we have. Hundred thousand after ten thousand. So there are three digits in thousand period and three digits in ones period. So in thousand period, the three digits make number seven hundred forty two. Okay, it is seven hundred forty two. So write seven hundred. Forty-two. Now, the these three digits are in thousand period. So we will write its period now thousand. So it will be seven hundred forty-two thousand. Now in ones period we have zero zero one, which means only one. So the number name is. Seven hundred forty-two thousand one. Now, in the next numeral, we have one at ones place, 
zero at tens place, seven at hundreds place, five thousand, two at ten thousand, and three at hundred thousand. Which means these three are in thousands period, and these three digits are in ones period. So it will be three hundred twenty-five. Means in thousand period we have three hundred twenty-five. So write it as three hundred twenty-five thousand. After that, in one period we have. Seven hundred one, so it will be seven hundred one. So the number name is three hundred twenty five thousand seven hundred one. In the next part we have this ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, and Hundred thousand. So we have these three in thousand period, and the other three in uh, is in one period. So you can see here in thousand period the first three digits makes the number seven hundred. So it will be seven hundred. Now after that we have to write its period that is thousand. So it will be seven hundred thousand. And in one period, the number zero zero eight, so it makes eight. Therefore, number name is seven hundred thousand eight. Next question is write the greatest and smallest six-digit numbers. Find their difference. So, firstly, we have to write greatest. Six digit number. So greatest six digit number will be six times nine. So nine 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 nine. So this is nine lakh ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine. This is the greatest six digit number. Now next we have to write smallest six digit number. So smallest six digit number will be one zero 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 and zero. That is one lakh. So greatest six digit number is nine lakh ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine. And smallest six-digit number is one lakh. We have to find difference between them. So difference will be equals to. Nine, we have to subtract these two numbers to find out the difference. Nine minus zero nine. Then nine, 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 nine. And nine minus one, eight. So it is equals to eight lakh ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine. Next question: We have to add the given numbers. So first number is seventy two thousand five hundred forty three, then two hundred forty five, and then seventy two thousand eight hundred ninety one. We have to add the three numbers. So let us start. Three plus five eight eight and one nine four plus four eight eight plus nine seventeen. So write seven here. One will be carried. Five plus one six six plus two eight eight plus eight sixteen. One carry. Two plus one three and three plus two five. Seven plus seven fourteen. So we got this sum. Now in the next part, we have one plus zero, one plus one, two. 
then 3 plus 5, 8, 8 plus 8, 16, write 6 here, 1 carry, 7 plus 1, 8, 8 plus 5, 13, 13 plus 6, 19, write 9 here and 1 carry, 6 plus 1, 7, 7 plus 6, 13, so write 3 here, 1 carry, 5 plus 1, 6, 6 plus 8, 14. So, this is the final sum.